So this problem of the day here that we looked at um, is very typical of the science test. And what you're going to see is a combination of having to understand text, graphics, and some basic math. This happens a lot on the um, science test. So let's take a look here at this problem. I see the pH scale measures the concentration of hydrogen ions in a substance. Substances can range from extremely acidic, that's a zero, to neutral, down here at a seven, to extremely alkaline, at a 14. Any substance that measures below seven on the scale is considered acidic. Now here's the important part. With acidity increasing, let's see here, uh, where was it? with acidity increasing by a power of 10 with each jump. And in case you didn't understand what that meant, I gave you for example. For example, a substance rated 5 on the scale has 10 times the acidity of one rated 6. Okay, So each time we um, jump up here, it's getting 10 times as acidic. Okay, So it says use the chart to determine how many times more acidic lemon juice is. So where's lemon juice? Here's my lemon juice. How many times more acidic lemon juice is than coffee? And where was coffee? Oh, black coffee right there. Boom, 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 boom. So I can see that if I was going to go up, each member, each jump up makes things 10 times more acidic. If I were to jump up from black coffee to lemon juice, I'd be jumping one, two, three jumps. And each time I'm going to get 10 times more acidic. So I'm going to get 10 times. Oof. Okay, 10 times more acidic three times. Now, a lot of students get this problem wrong right away because they think, whoa, 10 three times, that's got to be 30. But careful, it's not 10 plus more acidic, it's 10 times more acidic. So it's like 10 times 10 times 10. That's what they were talking about, a power of 10. This is not going to go up 30 times as much, 10 times 10 is 100, times another 10 is 1,000. So that's 1,000 times more acidic. Okay, and that's the answer.